Hello, I'm Johnny Crumpler and today we'll be looking at a step motor's accuracy and repeatability when used as an open loop system. Accuracy is the measured difference between the expected position and actual position. Based on typical industrial step motors, a single step angle can be 0 0.72, 0 0.9, or 1.8 degrees with 3 to 5 percent accuracy. This is because it is an open loop system. The step angle accuracy is independent of the mechanics of the system. It is based on the geometry of the rotor and stator teeth and possibly the bearing. Using a step angle of 1.8 degrees and a positional accuracy of 3 percent means the step should be within plus or minus 0.054 degrees. To test this, we have attached a laser pointer to the motor shaft. We will be shooting at a target 26 meters away. A 1.8 degree step will equal 817 millimeters plus or minus 24.5 millimeters. We are using two targets, each 20 millimeters in diameter. When the laser hits the target, we get a bright reflection back. The mechanical limitation of the step motor is based upon the alignment of the magnetic poles between the rotor teeth and stator teeth. You cannot improve upon the 0.054 degree tolerance even if you were to break a 1.8 degree step into 100 increments, for example. Now, if my motor were to step 1.85 degrees each time instead of 1.8 degrees, after one revolution, would I be out of position by 10 degrees? Thankfully, the positional error that occurs within each step is not cumulative. Repeatability is defined as the degree to which a parameter can be duplicated. Since the error in positional accuracy is not cumulative, the position of the motor after one revolution will be within the same tolerance as a single step. This is demonstrated by completing one revolution, returning to the target over and over. The motor achieves high repeatability without being a closed loop system. Because a servo motor is a closed loop system, it has higher positional accuracy and repeatability. The step motor though can be just as repeatable in application if a few conditions are met. These are maintaining power to your system, not changing your direction of rotation, and not enabling idle current reduction within your drive. I'm Johnny Crumpler and we'll see you soon.